special handmade uh, piece of art that you've made or somebody else that as special as it is has actually become clutter over the years, I bet you do. The reason being a lot of times when I work with clients will pick up something that they made or some, a loved one made and they'll say, well, I can't get rid of that because so-and-so made it or I can't get rid of that because I made it and I'm really proud of it. Well, I have one of those things and I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm a professional organizer. I have been since 2001 here in Maryland and I'm continually getting rid of things of my own even though it's hard. So I wanna share with you my internal dialogue in hopes that you'll also be able to let go of some things. So this is, um, this was my senior year fabric dyeing project final my final project that I was graded on. I actually got an A plus on it. It's a dish towel and we had to incorporate, let me hold it still for you. We had to incorporate three different fabric dyeing methods. Tie dye or shibori, uh, wax batik, and tie dye are these black spots. And I was so proud of it, it was so vibrant and beautiful. And I could see a lot of people saying, well, you can't use that dish towel because it's a work of art. Well, the truth is, if I made this in 2001, I have been using it as a dish towel ever since. And it has served me so incredibly well, but it's become so dingy in the years and we have dish towels that we actually love more that I haven't been using it. And it's got holes in it. It's certainly still useful, but I so rarely turn to it. And when I look at it, it kind of makes me feel sad because it used to be so vibrant and it's so faded now. And I'm gonna let go of it, as hard as that is, because it has served such a useful purpose and been a part of my daily life ever since 2001. Um, coincidentally, which is the same year I started organizing. And actually, that was such a wonderful class that I have two or three other pieces that are still vibrant, and actually three particular ones come to mind that are still in perfect condition that I'm not necessarily using, but I like to use them one day as wall hangings or I'm not sure yet, but because I have those, I'm willing to finally, finally let go of this. It will probably go to a thrift store or maybe we'll tear it up and use it as a rag, but the time has come um, just because it's handmade and has to me a really interesting story certainly doesn't mean I have to keep it forever, even though it does feel like I've kept it forever. I'm not, I don't claim to be an artist. I don't have a lot of art that I've made, um, but it doesn't mean that this needs to be a piece of art that I have for one day longer. So what I would love to know through the comments is if you are also either you know, an artist or just sort of an armchair artist and you have something that you've created that for whatever reason kind of feels like clutter these days or if somebody gifted you a very heartfelt piece of art uh, for whatever reason, if you're not using it or you don't love it or you're just hanging on to it because it was special to them, but frankly, it's not that special to you, can you get rid of that? I love hearing those stories and I want to know if you have a story provoked by this that will then help you to let go of that thing. Getting organized is a day-by-day -day process. I am constantly going to the thrift store. It feels like sometimes multiple times a month. And I may only bring two or three things. It's not that I go through my home and say, I'm going to become minimal. I'm going to declutter. And I bring a car load and I'm done. I've certainly done that before. But nowadays, it's uh, the trip to the thrift store this week may only have this. So that's just to say it is ongoing. You have to kind of have these conversations with yourself every single day to keep your home at an e equilibrium that's comfortable for you. So again, please share your story in the comments. If you find this helpful, I think you'll enjoy my website as well, theinspiredoffice.com. I have a blog there where I have over 500, about 500 posts that hopefully are equally as inspiring. And again, I'm a professional organizer. For the most part, I organize offices and paper, but I certainly do it all and have. I'm here in Silver Spring, Maryland, but I work virtually and I travel throughout the year as well. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you so much for listening.